deep inside I really really regret and I got bullied and the line goes like this welcome back to my channel so if you are new to my channel please don't forget to click the subscribe button and hit the bell so you will get notified every time I have a new video. So I got a lot of questions from my friends and for those people who have known me from the beginning that I have a natural curly hair and uh, the question goes like this. Why you decide to agree to have your hair straight? Since high school, I have uh, developed However, I experience uh, having bullied by the guys the classmates I have because in our country and in my place maybe or maybe I'm, I, I don't know that much because uh, maybe for them having a curly hair is new and it's it's strange for them so I got bullied and the line goes like this Kulot Kulot I got bullied and the line goes like this Kulot Kulot and Salot If you are Kulot or Curly it means you are you are obstacle so Curly Obstacle something like that and by that I discovered that I really had a curly hair since then, I had the confidence of joining beauty pageant because my mom used to support me of, of joining the pageant because it's really, really famous also in my country joining the beauty pageant. Since grade 2, since I was 7 years old, I used to expose myself in front of so many people. I used to expose myself in front of the stage and speak and introduce myself. And from that moment of my life, I felt very, very confident and because also of my mom's support and my family, my sisters, my brothers and those people who believe me because they really push me to be there and they really, really believe in me and my talent. I went to another city to proceed my college. From that moment, I don't get bullied by having a curly hair because maybe it's a huge city and they used to see a lot of tourists with with curly hair like me but for me I find it really really interesting and new and unique I find myself unique from that this hair is not natural only uh, it was rebounded last February so it's going to be uh, three months now So from that moment that I enter in that salon, I know that they will transform. Good morning guys, so today there will be a, a big uh, transformation that will happen in me, so watch out. My God. <laughs> you remember her name? You remember her hair before? With the curly hair. With the curly hair. With a big volume. Permanent. Permanent. No, no. Permanent means. Only the growth is different. Yeah, it will stay for long time. Yeah. But this will be permanent. Like straight. But we have to maintain a lot. that moment that I enter in that salon, I know that they will transform my hair into straight because it's about promoting hair products in Dubai. And uh, for me, it's like, okay, I'm thinking maybe something new and uh, something new experience and new feelings. But okay, I had a very, very soft feeling after that. But when I entered to the mall, I directly saw one lady with the same hair that I have and I suddenly miss my hair. It feels really, really bad because I don't have that feeling. I don't have that feeling of when I touch my hair, it's so small and I used to touch my hair with a huge volume and with a, 
extraordinary curl that you can't see to anyone and yeah, yeah. I felt less and but I just think that it will go back again as it's growing right now as you can see when I started to work way back 2012 I had this opportunity to win a pageant in my city. In Davao City specifically, I had a chance to compete in the capital city which is Manila. So there, people are totally different from my city because the south part of Philippines and Manila is in the north part of Philippines. So I really want to highlight this beauty pageant because this pageant really helped me to mold me of who I am today. And because of my hair, I have discovered that I am unique and I need to embrace it and I have enjoyed it before but now I need to wait after one year for sure and then I had I had growth my long hair and it's already curly however it's not colored it's it's black I guess if I remember meeting those different beauties that I had competed. They are from different parts of the Philippines. They are from north, east, west, south. Every everyone are different. Really a lot of beautiful Filipina that I've met in that pageant. And it's a national pageant in my country. And uh, from from that moment I got a lot of compliments from those ladies that they like my hair and really and they told me that wow I like your hair, it, is it natural? And from from that moment, I I realized that really it, it's true, my guts was true, and that this hair is, is beautiful. And it's it's not uh, common, it's unique. So that's uh, what makes me unique as well. So. Yeah, so uh, there's a lot of story to tell, but uh, right now I'm just waiting for the time that it will grow long, but it will take a year at least for me to have it again, but really I miss it. So the lesson for this, don't change anything, maybe just uh, appreciate it and just emphasize it. Whatever you have, it's all natural, just emphasize, emphasize it, don't change it. Right now, I had experienced the straight hair and curly hair, but the way I take care of this hair right now is the same way I took care of my curly hair. So for me, I would rather have curly hair because really effortless and uh, it's fashionable and your hair is your outfit, something like that. With the curl, I had uh, a lot of compliments. I got noticed by people. And they are confused also about my nationality and no one can guess. In my previous job, no one enters that door without asking me what is my nationality. And I always answer and respond, is it because of my hair? And yeah, I, I always thought about it and they would say no because of my face. But right now that I had this, that I have this hair, I don't see people <laughs> interested in me at all. So to take care of the curly hair is very very simple because you just need to wash it every day but not every day with shampoo of course, you know it. I just put conditioner every day, not every day, every after two days and sometimes I just wash it without anything so it won't be dry and uh, the same way I am applying right now 
yeah, you need to find the best and the perfect product that will fit your hair. Curly, curly is very, curly curly is very, very, simple, very, simple, very simple, simple, yet fashionable. Very simple, yet fashionable. effortless because really once you wash your hair you just dry it but I don't use a hair dryer because the volume will be boom and the curl will be sad so after I wash my hair I just dry it using the towel and yeah, I'm all set just like that not like straight hair you need to comb it and one fact that I want to tell which is maybe you don't know or you can't imagine since then I don't have a comb since I had this uh, straight hair I asked my roommate to buy for me a comb however when I tried to use it in my rebonded hair it doesn't work for me because if I see my hair fall it really hurts me a lot I just let it go after my shower I, again I just took care I just take care of this hair the way I took care of my curly hair after shower I dried it with a towel and that's it good to go so this is the three months rebonded hair without any comb without treatment no I just let it be so the growth will be curly again it will be long so time will come first <laughs>